Welcome to FIFO Vacuum. My name is Özkan Yunesh and in this video we'd like to explain the thermal particle velocity. Gas molecules in an enclosed volume collide with each other in a completely random manner and have different velocities which are never exactly the same. The Maxwell-Boltzmann velocity distribution can be used to illustrate how the velocity distribution of the particles looks like. The x-axis shows the velocity of the individual particles and the y-axis shows the number of particles. Therefore, it shows how often the different particle velocities occur. There are two presentation forms of this distribution. On the one hand, there is the substance-dependent, and on the other hand, the temperature-dependent form of representation of the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. If you look at the velocity distribution of nitrogen in the temperature-dependent form of representation, we see that the particles have a higher average velocity at higher temperatures. In the substance-dependent form of representation, we can see that light particles are faster on average than heavy particles. As an example, we see the comparison of the velocity distributions of nitrogen, which is heavier than helium, and helium in turn is heavier than hydrogen. At the highest point of the curve, we have the maximum, and therefore we have the most probable velocity of particles here, because at this point, most of the particles have this velocity. The formula for the most probable velocity is Cw is equal to the root of 2 multiplied by the ideal gas constant and the temperature divided by the molar mass. As it can be seen, the curves are asymmetrical and gradually become flatter in x direction after their maximum. Therefore, the mean velocity has a higher value than the most probable velocity. The formula for the mean velocity is Cm is equal to the root of 8 multiplied by the ideal gas constant and the temperature divided by P multiplied by the molar mass. If we take a closer look at these formulas, we can draw the following conclusion for the description of the velocity of particles. The higher the temperature and the lower the mass of a particle, the greater its mean velocity. In this table, we can see the mean thermal velocity of selected gases at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Now we have an idea of what the thermal particle velocity is. In the next video, we will look at the mean free path of particles, so stay tuned.